Hey everybody, welcome back. Mr. G here. We're going to do another example of Thevenin's uh, equivalent theory. So again, you can find help in our textbook, Principles of Electric Circuits, Conventional Current Flow, from Floyd and Buckla, Chapter 8-5. So what I've got is this particular circuit and what we're going to do is we are going to again create Thevenin's equivalent circuit. We're going to solve for our Thevenin. This becomes our load and this becomes V Thevenin. So we're going to solve for this. So we've got a 1K, a 2K, a 3K, a 4K, 5K, 6K. In this case, our load is here, and our load is 10K. So the circuit's a little bit different scenario than the last one, but the steps to solve it are all the same. So what I'm going to suggest again is you pause the camera or pause the uh, video so that you can try this at home and then compare the technique and your final circuit with the one that I create. So, pause your camera now. Hey, welcome back. Mr. G again. Now we've got this particular circuit we are going to solve. So this is Thevenin's example number two. We're going to convert this into this. So hopefully you had success. And we're going to test your answer against mine. So again, what we're going to be doing is calculating Thevenin's equivalent circuit, the Thevenin resistance, and the Thevenin voltage. Again, it doesn't matter which we do first. In this particular case, just to be different, I'm going to calculate... I'm going to calculate V Thevenin first this time. So I'm going to take our original circuit and put it right here. So here is the original circuit. I always recommend that you redraw the circuit just so that you do not mess up the original when you're doing your design. So 1K, 2K, 3K, here is RL and it is 10K. We got 5K, we got 6K and we have 4K. So that is the original circuit. What we're going to do is we are going to solve for V Thevenin. So the procedure says first thing we must do is remove the load. So we're going to remove the load. I'm going to redraw the circuit with no load. So here's our 1K, here's our 2K, here's our 3K. The load used to be here. It's now gone. I will finish the rest of the circuit. Here's 4K and 5K and 6K. Remove the load. The next step that I suggest you do is mark it A and B. Now we're looking for Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So the voltage A to B is equal to the voltage Thevenin in this case. Now, this circuit differs from the last one. In this particular circuit, 
RL is actually a series component. So that means that it's not in parallel with anything. It is a series component and all of the current that comes from the supply flows through that resistor. In the first step, we have removed that resistor. So now, there's no current flowing at all in the circuit because it's an open circuit. There is no place for the current to make, or no path, for the current to make its way back to the supply. So when it leaves the positive, there's no path getting back to the supply. So therefore, the, the current in this circuit is equal to nothing, zero. So I total equals zero amps. Again, because the circuit is now open. So that leaves us with a very interesting scenario. We know that voltage is equal to current times resistance. Mr. Ohm gave us that. And Mr. Ohm says that there's a relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. And that relationship is based on this mathematic equation. But if there is no current, it doesn't matter what R is, voltage will be equal to zero. So that means there's no voltage drops across any of those components. So that means that this point here is exactly the same as this point here. Because the voltage drop across here, the difference between that point and that point is zero. This point is exactly the same as this point. Because there's no voltage drops across those resistors either. So I'm going to say that point A is actually here. Because all of these points are the same potential. There's no drop. Why? Because there's no current. Let's go here. So these two points, because there's no current flowing, those two points are the same. This point and this point are the same. There's no voltage drop across there. So you can go as far as to say point B is actually here. So what is the value of voltage from A to B? Well, 20 volts. So in this particular case, voltage A to B is equal to the supply which is 20 volts and we know that the voltage A to B is Thevenin's voltage. So what we want to do is we want to go back up to our original circuit and put that value in there 20 volts. So we calculated Thevenin's voltage to be 20 volts. So we're going to put that value in our circuit. RL we know is 10K. We can fill that in now. All that's left is calculating R Thevenin. So let's go back. So I'm going to do this. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to now calculate R Thevenin. So we want to go back to the original circuit because the value of R Thevenin has absolutely nothing to do with the value of V Thevenin. They are their own calculations completely separate from each other. So we go back to the original. So we're going to use the original circuit here. So with Thevenin's value of resistance, 
the procedure says that we must remove the load. So again, here's what we got. So again, just make sure that you don't get things mixed up. Redraw the circuit. It only takes a couple of seconds. Until you get the hang of it. So this is the 1K, this is the 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, and 6K. This is where our thevenin, or our load, sorry, our load used to be. So we've removed the load. We're going to mark it A and B. Again, once we have it marked A, B, the next step is to do what? Short out the power supply. So we're just going to get rid of the power supply, put a line through it like that as if it doesn't exist. If we were to toss an ohmmeter from point A to B, what would it read? So looking at A to B, we have that circuit. What would it actually read? So R, A to B in this circuit we have this network. These two things are in parallel. So there's the 2K in parallel with the 3K, in series with the 1K, in series with the 4K, in series with these two in parallel. So that's the 5K in parallel with the 6K. If we do that math, we've got 2K in parallel with 3K, so 2,000 times 3,000 divided by 2,000 plus 3,000. So that becomes 1.2. K plus 1K plus 4K plus now we got 5K and 6K in parallel so 5,000 times 6,000 divided by 5,000 plus 6,000 2.6 0.73k. So now we can do that math. We got 1.2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2.73. So we get 8.93 kilo ohms. So the resistance from A to B looking that way on that circuit with the power supply shorted out is 8.93 kilo ohms. So 8.93 kilo ohms, that's our A to B. And that also is our thevenin. So we go back to our original circuit and we put that value in here at 8.93 kilo ohms. So, if we did our math correct, the current and voltage across the load here should match the current and voltage across the load there. So this one is nice and easy to figure out, so let's do that. So I of RL is actually equal to I total in that circuit, because it's a simple series circuit. So we have V seven N divided by our total. So our total is going to be eighteen point nine three K and twenty volts. 
So 20 volts divided by 18.93K, 1.06 milliamps. Then if we take 1.06 milliamps to the exponent 3 to the negative and multiply it by 10K, we end up with the voltage across the load is equal to 10.6 volts, Ohm's law. So that's the calculation. So this is IRL. So that's the calculations for the Thevenin's equivalent. So now let's go to the original. The current through this, again, remember we talked that current is actually I total. So if we calculate I total in this circuit, that's the current going through there. So the current in this particular circuit, the current through the load is equal to I total, which is equal to V total divided by R total. So we need to find R total for this circuit. So our total for this circuit is our total is equal to we have 1k in series with this combination of 2 and 3k. So if you remember, 2 and 3k in parallel, 2 and 3k in parallel is 1.2k. 1.2k. We already did that math. Plus 10k plus 5 and 6 in parallel. We already did that math over here too. And 5 and 6 in parallel was 2.73. So 2.73K plus 4K. So this is in series with these two, which are in parallel, which is in series with this, which is in series with these two in parallel, which is in series with this. So that's what we get, 1K plus those, plus this, plus those, plus this. Okay. So our total works out to be 1 plus 1.2 plus 10 plus 2.73 plus 4, 18.93K. So... 18.93 kilo ohms. So that value goes up into here, 18.93 kilo ohms. And now we're going to calculate that current. So 20 divided by 18.93 kilo ohms. That comes out to be one. Uh, sorry, one, yeah, 1.06, 1.06 milliamps. Look at that right there. Now, we're going to find the voltage across RL, and that is 1.06 milliamps times the value of RL, which is 10 kilo ohms. And that is going to be 10, whoops, 10.6 volts right there. So as you can see, the proof works. The current and voltage here match the current and voltage there. So hopefully that worked out to be the same as what you ended up with as your answers. So if you need some more help, chapter 8-5. I hope this helps. Take care, everybody. We'll see you again next time.